Alex Dupleclay. Could you spell your last name? Sure, D-U-B-U-C-L-E-T. That's A-L-E-X? Right. All right, Alex, uh, you had a chance to play with probably the greatest player in the world. What is that like, man? It's incredible, man. I even got patted on the butt by him. So, <laughs> what did you do for, for, to deserve that? Uh, I think I went up for a rebound and uh, and put it in, put it back in. So I was playing against him. You played against him. Did you did you check him one on one? I did it one time. Actually, I doubled him. I do Everybody double teams, and you can't go one on one with MJ, you know, unless he lets you. Now, what, is he, does he seem rusty out there to you? No, no, he's going about 30 percent, but that's only because he wants to. I mean, he, he can go to 100 percent just like that you know, in, in a heartbeat. He hasn't lost a step in the about. timings there. And everything. Everything's there. Everything's there. He's playing with us. I mean, he can easily go back tomorrow and play with the best. Now, why do you think he's out here playing? The love of the game. MJ loves it. You can see it. Every time he, every time he goes up and down the court, he misses it. You can see he misses the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, he, he, he loves competition. I think. Do, do you think this is a, maybe a sign of him coming back? Uh, a prelude, maybe? I don't know. I, I, I think I think he's going to be gone a while, but I think he's going to come back. I could just see it in his eyes. You know, just he just loves the guy. He loves the camaraderie. He loves the guys. You know, whether it's his team or just the guys out here. You know. How many times have you seen him? Let's say on an average week. Uh, a couple of times a week, two times a week. How many games does he run? He runs all the time. He doesn't come off the court. He's the only guy they let stay on the court when he <laughs> wins or loses. <laughs> you don't put MJ off the court. Do, do the guys take it easy on him, or do you, do you no, kind of no, do? No. We, we double and triple it. We do whatever it takes. Do you kind of go that extra mile knowing that you're playing against him? Absolutely. Yeah, it brings up everybody's game a lot. Yeah. Brought up my game a lot, but that's from like one to two. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Think back to what, four, five, six years ago, even last year, in a million years, would you ever thought that you'd be out here playing with this guy? Absolutely not. No, no way. Not a million. Not, not any dream that I ever had did I think MJ would, would play against me on the court. No, absolutely not. What do you tell your friends when you talk to them? Oh, that I played against the greatest, you know, and I went up and slam dunked on him. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a little stretch there. Yeah, right? just a little bit. Uh, what will you tell your grandkids kids one day? That I absolutely played with the greatest athlete of all time, whether it be basketball or any other sport. I think he's just the greatest all-around athlete. Watkins? How do you spell that? W-A-T-K-I-N-S. All right, Aaron, you've got a rare opportunity here. Checking out Michael Jordan firsthand, not at the stadium, just like he's just like one of the guys. Yeah, uh, but I wish I was able to play him. Too young to come in. But if he was up here on uh, Sunday morning, then I'd be able to beat him because I know how to guard him. You know? you know how to guard him. What do you have to do to, to check him? See, Michael's weakness is a shot. You just keep him around the perimeter, and when he does this move right here, palm the ball, brings it around, just don't fall for that. Just wait for him to shoot, run up there, get the rebound, throw up some kind of lucky shot, and you win. <laughs> it's that easy, huh? Yep. But suppose if he just jumps over you? Well, nothing you can do but look at the bottom of his Nikes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you tell your friends, man, when you say you, you saw Jordan play? Uh, none of them believe me. They don't believe me, but... Would you believe them if they told you that? Probably not. <laughs> Were you surprised when you first saw him playing in here? Yeah, I thought my dad was just kidding when he said, just come up here, and uh, he had a surprise for me. So I came up, and there he was. Now my dad's in the game. I hope he's scoring. Well, what do you think Jordan's doing to him right now? Schooling him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. So we're going to bring back Norm Van Leer to cap it off in our pregame show. How'd you like that young man <laughs> played with Michael? He, don't don't he, fall for this. <laughs> <laughs> when Michael pops it, you don't go for that move. No, you don't. That's a good uh, good theory, you know, because that's what gets you off balance. Lenny Wilkins used to do a lot of that. That little move gets you off balance and then go to work. Kid, smart. Yeah. Defensive-minded person. But John Starks <laughs> can't figure it out, and Craig Elo can't figure it out. <laughs> well, it's, never, they, go right? for the f they go for it. <laughs> they go for it. That's what's the problem. Uh, there. They should play more pickup uh, with Michael, right? Uh, absolutely. Good scout <laughs> report. Uh, get his name. Get All him right. On the, get him on the, the, the roster, man. Beautiful. You know, the NBA is...